Keep it going now. Okay, right, as I said, set it wide was decent. Just make sure that foot doesn't keep creeping in. It has a tendency to want to kind of migrate yeah. towards your right foot. So, again, you can see when you went to here, you felt like, I, I say Charlie Chap, you said a penguin. It feels this way. In reality, it's nowhere near that. Ball position could creep a little bit further forward with those irons, okay? Just to make it not too far back, okay? The turn we talked about last time with the right hip, really good, yeah? Making some real nice movements now with that right hip turning in the back. So this is good, yeah? Making a nice hip turn there. Nice hip turn. This is good, right? The focus now is basically getting the top half of your body to stay behind the golf ball, yeah? Now, you might feel miles behind the ball. In reality, a few inches, yeah? Now, with an iron, yes, your low point is going to be here. With a driver, your low point is going to be the blue line, okay? But your hands are still going to be slightly kind of in front of or, or level off with that golf ball. We're going to be sort of leaning on it. So look at this iron swing here now on the left as you come into it. You can see your head kind of moving down this way. And the last thing sort of backing up to try and get out of your own way. You just about did it on some of these shots there, but if not enough, and then your head then hangs back a lot. So you kind of go in here and then I'm sort of whoop at the last second. So your balance is always kind of a bit all over the place. If it doesn't drop back, you probably yeah. shank it and end up falling that way a long way, okay? And you end up losing your balance and not able to get out of your own way. And as you said before, you felt your left shoulder just felt a little bit stuck. But where can that left shoulder go if you're kind of on top of your left side? Yeah. You just, it's got nowhere to get out of the way. And you're feeling, well, I've got to turn more. The more you turn, the more that over the top you're going to get. So the feeling from the top of this backswing is now is keeping that head, as we said, behind the golf ball. We want to get the sensation now that your head, probably just after impact there, your hands are going to be slightly in front. And your head now is slightly behind. So the version, well, the, the phrase we often use, like your head and the hands bookend the golf ball, yeah? One's in front, one is behind. I think about any other sport you play, kicking a football, throwing a rugby ball, hitting a tennis ball with a tennis racket, your head at impact or head at release will be behind the ball, yeah? You wouldn't throw it with you no. in front of it, okay? And that's with all clubs, okay? It's just with other clubs, it's going to seem more of a launch angle up here. Now, regards the driver, as we said, if we go back to setup. Your low point with the driver is behind the ball and up in the air. Your low point with an iron is after the ball, underground. But that's more of a body shift movement as opposed to you trying to manipulate mid-swing. You set up to the gobble, that little tilt with the spine there with the driver, gets you behind the ball, roughly 10 to 12 inches behind the golf ball, and then you're staying back behind it to get the ball up in the air more. The problem is, and this is where the logic doesn't come in with golf, if you're doing that with the driver, popping up in the air, your brain's going to think, right, I need to get on top of that ball and just try and hit it lower, don't I? Because you know when you get low with the iron in front of it, it goes really low. Yeah. So if the ball's going too high with the driver, okay, I'll hit the ball lower with the driver. Shoing, up in the air it goes. So despite what you may feel when you make a swing, if you sky at the top of the club, you've got too far left. You haven't kept your head behind the golf ball. Okay, yeah. and that's yeah. got to stay behind the golf ball on any shot, really, but more so with the driver, especially up on the golf balls we want to try and do. But it might be worth focusing on this part of the ground behind the ball and thinking this is where my low point's going to be. I'm going to stay behind it, head on the way up, rather than getting stuck on it. Okay, yeah. right, I have a couple more of that driver, see how we can get with that one. Okay, buddy?